Black and White Network supporters, make sure you check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. Link in the description. Use promo code USA First, all one word. USA First, all one word. 25% off now. Guys, I will never ever understand why people in the People's Republic of California keep voting for the same incompetent politicians, the socialists that they do. I do not understand this. Now, California is probably the most expensive state in the United States of America. If you look at home prices, folks, it is extremely expensive. If you compare a home in L.A. to homes in the Houston area, the homes in the Houston area are like half the cost when it comes to gas prices. The gas prices in California are usually about double what it is out here in the Houston area. But these people in the People's Republic of California, they have declared an all out war on American energy production. These people don't want you to use gasoline cars. They're going to ban it by 2035. And that's going to be very interesting to see if that actually does happen. I believe that uh, California is just killing themselves. They are shooting themselves in the foot by doing this. These people want you to go out there and buy sixty, seventy thousand dollar electronic vehicles that we know that the majority of people cannot afford. And I believe even in 2035, most people probably can't afford these cars, but they're going to ban gasoline cars over there. Yeah, that's completely insane. Now, guys, there is a major problem over there in the People's Republic of California. They don't want you to use gas cars, but yet, folks, still, they don't want you to actually use your electronic vehicles either right now. Check this out, guys. State of California asked residents not to charge electronic cars to relieve stress on grid. Wait a minute. I thought that electronic vehicles were the savior, you know, for the climate. I thought that was the case. But California said, nope, our grid is getting too stressed. So we don't want you to use gas cars. But yet we don't want you to actually use electronic vehicles. Now, guys. Electronic vehicles is nice if you actually want it. Now, they're not good at all for long distance driving. I believe these cars only go like 200 miles uh, before you actually need to charge them again. Uh, For me, I drive a a Prius. Now, my Prius is a hybrid car, so I can go roughly like about 600 miles before I actually have to put gas in it. And the reason I got that car is because where I live versus where I I was actually working, I was actually just burning a lot of gas. And then I said, you know what? Let me get a Prius. And um, I love it. It's really, really good. But let's read this, guys. It says here, with extreme heat expected to hit California and the West through Labor Day weekend, California grid operators are calling on residents to voluntarily conserve energy, electricity, by avoiding the use of large electronics, even and even stop charging electronic vehicles. The California independent system operator issued a statewide flex alert Wednesday, calling on residents to voluntarily conserve energy between 4 p.m. and 9 p.m. to reduce stress on the electrical grid. Unbelievable. But this is not a surprise, folks. Still, they want you to get rid of your uh, gas cars because they believe that, um, You're contributing to a man-made global warming. Yeah, completely and utterly ridiculous, folks. But however, guys, it gets worse if you are in the People's Republic of California. Check this out. California gas prices at highest level in history of Labor Day weekend. Yes, Monday is Labor Day. People like to get out. They like to travel. But in California... Boy, your gas prices are really, really high. Now, out here where I'm at, gas is roughly um, $3, probably $3.30. You could probably find it a little bit lower. But in the People's Republic of California, your gasoline prices are um, $5.25 on average. Yeah, you see the, the price difference in California? Everything is more expensive. And it says here that the gas price is actually five cents lower than a week earlier. 
a week earlier. It says um, the previous record for the start of the Labor Day weekend came last year at four dollars and thirty nine cents a gallon in California. So under Beijing, Biden, who has called for an all out war on oil and gas. Last year was the record at four dollars and thirty nine cents in California. And it says uh, four forty in L.A., but now it's five dollars and twenty five cents. Even with falling gas prices, the gasoline prices in the People's Republic of California are still at record highs. Why do you people in California keep voting for these people? Why? Why do you keep doing this? Now, guys, I'm pretty sure also to conserve energy, they probably want you, your ACs to go up to about 90 degrees in your home so it doesn't affect the grid. Now, we actually get those same alerts over here in um, in Texas as well. Like I have a Nest thermostat. And my thermostat. I know it happened to probably about five or six times uh, this summer. It would actually tell me, hey, we're going to do like this rush hour thing where between the hours of like two and six p.m., we're going to adjust your thermostat about five degrees higher. So roughly like um, 79 degrees. In the home. A little bit uncomfortable, but you can actually opt out of it. Probably in California, folks, they're probably going to just mass massively just take over the um, the thermostats in home and the government will end up controlling your thermostat. So if you're at home, they'll probably end up setting your thermostat to roughly about 90 degrees to conserve energy on the grid. Folks, there's actually a simple um, solution to this. Stop relying on unreliable energy. Same thing in Texas, folks. I'm going to be honest. Our grid out here in Texas is not the best because they want to depend on unreliable energy here. I believe that they should actually um, build a nuclear power plant. And that would probably actually um, help with a lot of stress on the grid. Now, in California, you know, they're not going for that in California. They're definitely not. These people in California are insane. Insane. But hey, you get what you vote for. And this is what the woke activists out there have voted for. Don't drive your uh, gas cars because that's a, that's bad for the environment. Go out and buy a 60 or $70,000 car. Hey, but hey, guess what? Don't charge it. Our grid is overly stressed. This is crazy. So what do they want people to do? Go out there in a ho horse and buggy? Probably so. But hey, you get what you vote for. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans. Let's know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you next time.